Good afternoon and welcome into Today in the NA. I'm Vinny Paraselli. Welcome to March. We've got about six weeks left in the season, and this weekend, we could potentially see the first playoff spot in the Roberts Cup playoffs clinched. We'll explain that later. We will honor the players of the month for February as well, but let's start the show with the latest NCAA commit. Jeff Hutchinson of the New Mexico Ice Wolves has committed to Augustana University. The defenseman from St. Louis has played in parts of four seasons, with the last three being spent in New Mexico. He has six goals and 31 points this season, and for his career, Hutchinson has 13 goals and 51 points in 147 games. He's also been selected to the Top Prospects Tournament twice. Let's honor the top players from February. The fourth of the month is Austin's Gavin Morrissey. The Michigan native had five goals and 13 points in eight February games. He now leads the Bruins with 48 points in 47 games played. Oklahoma Warriors defenseman Garrett Horsager is the defenseman of the month. Horsager notched five goals and 11 points in 10 games last month. He also had a plus seven rating. For the season, he has 24 points in 42 games. Finally, the goaltender of the month is Maxwell Beckford of the Wisconsin Windigo. Beckford went 4-0 with a 1.75 goals against average and a 9.51 save percentage to go with one shutout. In 26 games, he sports a 2.73 goals against and a 9.21 save percentage. Coming up this weekend, we've got a three-game set in the center that will play a big role in the playoff picture. St. Cloud takes on North Iowa this weekend as the Bulls try to get back in the playoff field, while the Norsemen try to keep their spot in the postseason. North Iowa just swept Aberdeen on the road to pull within one point of fourth place. Meanwhile, the Norsemen lost back-to-back -back heartbreakers to the Austin Bruins. They currently sit in third place with 50 points. In the log jam that is the Midwest Division, the Minnesota Wilderness visit the Kenai River Brown Bears. The two teams currently sit in third and fourth place respectively and are just separated by just two points. The Brown Bears just swept Janesville in a three-game set and have a five-game point streak while the Wilderness split with the Junior Blues. Like we've said every week, every point is crucial in this division. Then we've got the top two teams in the South Division going head-to-head -head as Lone Star visits Oklahoma. The Warriors just saw their 15-game winning streak come to an end and also suffered their first home losses of the season. The Brahmas might be starting to get hot and could make a big dent in the Warriors' lead with a weekend sweep. Now with a Warriors' sweep and some help, Oklahoma could clinch the first playoff spot in the Roberts Cup playoffs. So a lot on the line this week in OKC. We've got 29 games on the schedule this weekend for your viewing pleasure. You can watch the games on NHL TV. Follow the North American Hockey League on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for the latest league content. Be on the lookout for our Read to Succeed campaign this month for National Reading Month as players throughout the league tell us about their favorite books and authors and explain why reading is so important to them. That's all the time we have for you this week here on Today in the NA. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week when we recap the latest for the North American Hockey League.